welcome to its traffic in today's video i am going to discuss with you about practical examination of computer science 2023 which is going to held on 24th november uh, february i think if i am wrong please correct me in comment section your practical examination will be for 30 marks now what things you will prepare for the examination first i am informing you the topic names or the content that required for practical examination html mysql c programming and viva or oral and you will get two hours time according to board but the school where they will take your examination some school might take just one hour also because number of computers some center or some school have very less number of computers so they will hurriedly take your practical and send you home or some school or center even ask you to write the answers in answer script and just to do one or two questions in the computer and while you are doing the practical in lab just don't sit idle write something so the examiner that you know the things you are not totally blank and don't worry you will get at least the pass mark in practical examination but to get good marks like uh, 27 28 you have to do hard work you have to know the codes you have to know the oral answers etc now let's see what things may come from html from html you should know how to create a table you should know how to create list and how to insert images some other topics are also there like frames links but according to me these three are the most important one if you know how to do these three then it will be enough for you for the examination and for mysql you should know how to create a database how to create a table inside it and also how to write some queries for example how to retrieve the data from the table how to insert record inside the table how to modify the table how to put some uh, conditions in queries means how to display the selected records these things if you know these things then it it is enough for mysql and at last c programming in c programming there are many topics first loops for loops questions might be like that write a c program to display the numbers from 1 to 10 or write a c program to display the numbers first 10 natural numbers or write a c program to display the even numbers from 1 to 20 like that or even some of the digit of a number these things from the loop chapter and nested loop mostly the patterns i think only triangular pattern is enough because uh, definitely board will not set that hard paper for practical and for arrays there was one question that uh, you should take uh, four or five subjects marks after that you have to calculate the total and average this question is important one and also to take character input through an array and display it which already have in the book and display the odd even elements or some of the uh, the odd or even numbers from an array this type of questions are important and from function and pointer i am not sure but uh, i can say that you might have no you might not get any practical question from these two chapters because for class 10 level these two chapters are little hard little difficult so you might not get so so you can just practice these three chapters for practical loop nested loop and arrays and function and pointers for orals just you should have the basic concept means what is function different type of function what is the use of pointer so this just this the uh, normal things you should know 
and uh, for examination and somewhere you might get question paper and somewhere they will just write the question paper in blackboard or any anywhere and they will ask you to do any questions from there and if you are getting the question paper then you will get two two options for each questions but if you are not getting any question paper they will write the questions in a blackboard suppose four five questions and they will ask you to do any question from there so this how the practical examination are conducted before this year also it will be follow uh, it will be follow same way i think maybe it will be little different also at present i don't know i don't have any information but most probably it is going to follow the previous one only now what you will uh, prepare for oral examination for the oral no one can give you any important you should have basic idea about the whole content of your book no need the knowledge in deep just you need the basic knowledge like uh, what is programming what is html what is website what is home page what is a browser what is database etc and even in case study sector there are some questions related to computer and related to internet that question also you can prepare so that you can easily answer the oral and for oral also uh, all the students might not get exactly 5 or 10 questions it depend on the examiner who is taking the exam some student might get just one or two questions some student might get five questions also so it's totally depend on the examiner and uh, even the marks also totally depend on the examiner if the examiner thinks he can give you full mark if the examiner don't think then he can just give you the pass mark so always behave politely with the examiner don't talk rudely or don't also don't stand or sit idle in from in front of the examiner don't prove yourself as an uh slow learner i don't want to say any bad word so be active at least answer something even if you don't know at least try to say something related to that and don't be scared of that examiner because they are also human they are also teachers they will not do you anything so these are the things that are required for matric practical examination and for demo questions paper in 2 and 3 days i'll give a demo paper from there you can practice and now where you will give the practical exam normally to your examination center in which center you are giving the matric exam that center only will give the practical but some some center does not have computers at that situation you will have to go to a nearby school where have enough number of computers and the center will say about it before examination day if you go to the center or in the center you will get the notice about it and also you ask your timing at what time you should go because at same time uh no school can take examination of all the students especially practical examination because all the school will have limited number of computers and it is not possible to get 200 300 computers together so before the exam day go and inquire about your timings at what time you should go and what things what things you will require for exam first you will need admit card then registration number or registration card and any other things whatever required for example hard board pen pencil these things are necessary for the examination and if you carry other things like your school bag or books and all these things will not ex accept inside the examination hall you should keep your bag outside only in some center even they don't allow you to take the bag inside the campus so better just you keep uh, take your hard board and one pen and pencil that much is enough also admit card and registration card so this is the information regarding matric practical examination no need to worry about any uh, that how you will give the exam what will be the pattern of the exam 
even board also wants that everyone should uh, do the practical or everyone should pass the examination so don't worry about that definitely everyone will clear the practical only you will have to think about theory because in theory no one can give you any free marks there you have to do you have to write the answers yourself then only you will score marks and for practical also as i already told you that don't sit idle do something do some activity so the examiner that you are not totally blank you have some basic ideas i have seen some students who are just going to practical sitting idle doing nothing still that type of student also pass but they are getting only the pass mark how the examiner will give them full mark is it it so don't do like that mistakes do something and definitely you will get common questions board will not give that hard papers for you so this is uh, that's all for today thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye